Hi, this is Christine Baker from Fairfield Road Designs, and today I'm going to be quilting this some little Christmassy table runner that I made. It has some wool applique that I've done with a blanket stitch around the edges, and um, I've loaded it on my gamel. I've got some master quilter from um, Winterfill on all uh, threaded, and what I'm doing is um, I'm going to quilt some snowflakes in the border. So today I'm going to show you how to do these little snowflakes. So I've gotten about three quarters of the way around my table runner. Now I'm going to show you how I uh, stitch the little snowflakes. So the first step in the snowflake is to stitch into the middle of where you want your snowflake center to be. So my snowflake center is going to be here and then the points are going to go out from there. So I stitch a straight line into there and then the first stitching I do from there is kind of an, an angle from that and back into the middle. So this little angle here is about a 45 degree angle I guess and then you're going to stitch straight back to the middle and then straight over on that same line same distance then you come back to the middle stitch back and then straight out there and then you go into the middle between those two so you can see my middle of my snowflake is here and then I've stitched out here straight to the middle out here straight to the middle and then the straight in between back to the middle and then out and then the next thing I did was a little loop I always find um, designs look nicer if they have sort of two designs that are intermingled so anytime I'm doing like a motif I'll often put a loop or a swirl or something in between just to break them up so then I'm back to the middle again and I'm gonna stitch another snowflake So here are the snowflakes that I just stitched. So I did a snowflake, a loop, a snowflake, went around that star, did another snowflake, another loop, another snowflake, a loop, and then what I did was just join the two ends right by going back into the middle of the first snowflake. So I'm all finished quilting my little table runner. I finished doing the snowflakes as I showed you earlier and then on the inner border I did a little um, ribbon candy kind of design hopefully you can see that um, so what I did was just did a little zig kind of a ribbon back and forth back and forth all the way around when I got to the corner I kept going and then did sort of a point out to the corner and then back and forth I just traveled around each of the stars instead of breaking my thread. And then on the inside, um, since the design is so busy, I just did a um, big meander all over the center of the quilt. So now it's all quilted, I can get it bound. I'm pretty excited about that. This one's been on my to-do list, my UFO list for a while. So um, hope you enjoyed learning how to do the snowflakes and the ribbon on the inner border. Thanks.